Okay, so we have this indefinite integral. It does look a little bit intimidating, but there is a formula we can use. So recall the formula is one over the square root of a squared minus x squared dx. And you can see this kind of fits the form that we have in our integral here. This is equal to the arc sine of x over a. So because we have the square root here on the bottom, and you see you have like 100 minus cosecant squared, that kind of leads you to think um, that maybe we should use this formula. Even if you don't see the full solution all at once, uh, it's a good idea to always try something. So let's go ahead and think about what we can do. So first of all, the 100 can be written as 10 squared. And it looks like we can make a u substitution. So we'll let u be equal to cosecant of x. And then so du, the derivative of cosecant, well, that's negative cosecant cotangent. So negative cosecant x cotangent x dx. And so that's exactly what we have here. So things worked out really, really nice in this problem. So let's go ahead and make our substitution uh, right now. So this becomes the integral of, well, this entire piece here is conveniently just du. Then on the bottom, we have the square root. And so the 100, we can write that as 10 squared minus, and then cosecant is u, so this is u squared. And then we already have the du. I was going to write it twice, but it's already there. I've done that before. I'll write du, du, da, da. <laughs> so we, we already wrote it here. So now we can just directly apply the formula. So this will simply be the arc sine of u over a. Instead of x, it's u, so u over 10 plus c. And that's equal to the arc sine. Well, u is cosecant x. So we can go ahead and replace u with cosecant. So this is cosecant of x over 10, and then plus our constant of integration, capital C. Really, really nice. Nice problem. It was really, um, it's rigged, right? It was totally rigged uh, to work out. I hope this video has been helpful.